Some of my fondest memories as a kid were from when I went to summer camp. There was hiking, canoeing, figuring out the difference between a flea and a tick. But today, learning about tech is starting to take the place of honing your whittling skills. Years from now, camp kids will reminisce and say, this one time at app camp? Here's Allie Ward to explain. For most of us, summer memories live somewhere in our phones, most likely as snapshots. But at App Camp for Girls and for camp founder Jean McDonald and camp attendees, the most indelible summer memories live in the apps on their phones because they made the apps themselves at camp. Off to Portland, Oregon I went to meet up with Jean and the teenage software developers. No, here, they're not called campers. So I'm just the ball points of the different competitors? Is yeah. that what you guys are saying? Mm -hmm. So now what's happening in this room right now? Some of them are still brainstorming ideas for how to finish up their apps. They are wireframing, which is, you know, sketching out what all the interfaces will look like. So they're brainstorming, they're wireframing, they're sketching, they're programming, yes. they're designing, they're pitching, all in this room right around us right now. Yes. In the span of a week. Yes. That's exactly. amazing. Exactly. <laughs> So far, Jean and her camp staff have run nine sessions of these camps, beginning in 2013, when Jean realized something needed to be done to increase the appeal of software developing to girls. It was a thought sparked when Jean was at a developers conference and realized she was one of only a few women there. It just finally hit me like, yes, I always knew that I was in a fairly male dominated industry, but this is almost exclusively male and there's really no good explanation for that. And so when it comes to changing that, Jean is an incorrigible optimist. After App Camp for Girls, mm -hmm. when they go into their next year of school, mm -hmm. do you think they'll have a completely different attitude about what they're capable of doing? Yes, I think when they can say, I made an app, and they can show their app to their fellow students, that just gives you a little calling card of, I'm serious. And they are serious. The girls split into groups supervised by women with industry experience and older teenage girls. So I'm not in middle school, but I'm going to crash this table of developers and see what they're learning. This is Olivia and Katya, along with the camp director of curriculum and engineering, Nat. And they are part of a team slash company called Crimson Royal. And the app they built is a mystery quiz. All right, so I'm going to take this quiz. Okay, so yeah. Who am I in a mystery? Okay, in the early hours of the morning, your phone rings. The caller ID on your phone shows that they're the police. So, ooh, answer call. <laughs> I continued to answer questions, clicking to answer, until the investigation into this mythical mystery was complete. Police say, did you do it? You say, no, of course not. No, but, or why would I? Um. I'm going to say, why would I? I'm going to answer a question with a question. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Not only do these girls learn to build an app, they learn to market it as well. We took a seat and let the developers present their app as a team. Welcome. Welcome. In one short but intense week, the girls have learned to build an app, design it, brand it, and market it an experience that not only develops a cutting edge skill set, but also self-confidence and teamwork. We worked like really, really, really well together and I think that that was awesome considering coding is so complicated and so intense and then we just were able to like get a grasp at it so fast and I thought that was really awesome. And what Jean McDonald thinks would be really awesome is to have an app camp for girls in every community that wants it. And then one day to simply call it App Camp. <laughs>